All right, I took a propane bottle, and I cut the top off, made a lid out of it, and then I added an eighth inch thick carbon steel uh, rings to the lid and the cylinder where they sit. And then that plate down there is gonna help keep the two bottom bricks flat. And this is my gas input uh, inlet. Not prettiest, but it'll do. And I'm gonna cram a, a ceramic insulation in there. See how it works out. So that's how the top sits. So I'm gonna put this one inch by one eighth inch thick band around the top where the lid's gonna sit. Sort of help try to seal in the heat. So I'm kind of guessing there's gonna be some warpage. Uh, it didn't have any material thicker than eighth inch to use. I probably would have liked to use quarter inch. But I didn't have that kind of money. This is a cheap setup. Okay. All right. Nice and focused, ain't it? What the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and weld that on. We burn paint off around here, so they get a little smoky. All right, we got that on pretty good. That'll welds to be desired, but that. We got my insulation in there. So, we got some metal here. We'll fabricate something for a hinge. I'm thinking about somehow Here they got. <clears throat> well, I'll figure it out. All right, this is what I came up with a hinge set up. When it comes back, it'll rest there. Put some handles on it. Got one over there. Got a nice little lifting doodad there. Let me get a screwdriver here. I don't want to touch that bitch when it's hot, so I'll open it that way. So I'm not sure I have enough insulation in there yet. I'm going to go ahead and do a test run with some aluminum. Uh, see how she works out. If I have to, there's plenty of room in there to add another layer of insulation. Woohoo! Nothing but net. <laughs> Okay, I had, <coughs> excuse me, I had some uh, aluminum skulls from prior castings that didn't work out too well, so I'm not remelting them down into some ingots. The heat started coming out around the edge where I thought it would. It really started warping up that edge there. You'll be able to see when I open it up, you look at that one inch lip, it's glowy. Here I go ahead, I'm getting ready to add another skull. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see that red ring around it or not. Let's go ahead and open it up. Should I have my gloves on, son of a B. 
teaching us. Wow. And that was the small one. All right, we got paint burning again. And that worked pretty good for aluminum. Paint really got touched up a lot. Yeah, <laughs> look, there's no paint back there. <clears throat> okay, we'll let this cool off and. Maybe we'll try something else. Thanks for watching. All right, it's a little cooled down now. Really took the paint right off that. That black paint right there, it's a high heat. I ran out though. Rust Oleum High Heat Ultra. It's empty. But you can see where I sprayed it and held up, where I didn't spray it, just torquing that paint right off. It held up pretty good. All in all, I think I'll be ready to do some copper soon. I'm going to leave that insulation the way it is. I spilled a little bit of aluminum in there. Heat is still rolling off this puppy. All right. Well, till next video. Thanks. Homer Simpson can't eat these donuts. Down there in the aluminum pile. We got plenty of copper to go. Yep. Embrace.